Hi, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. Yes, I did. I did go shopping today. I was gone almost three hours, two and a half to three hours. But I was bound and determined to get uh, enough things to hold me over for a while, for a little while. Uh, yeah, hi, Diane. Hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> ah, you girls are always the first ones here. I also had to stop up at the vet's office up the road. She's two minutes away, which makes it really nice. And uh, pick up the cat's insulin. Hi, Janet. So I will start her on her insulin tomorrow. She's already not happy with the amount of food she's getting. <clears throat> yeah. She was used to, uh, when she was really fat, she was used to getting free range uh, kibbles plus her canned food twice a day. So now, for the last, oh, I don't know, two or three months, I've been just giving her uh, a handful of kibbles twice a day also. But she still shouldn't even have that much. So she won't be a happy girl until the insulin kicks in and she isn't so hungry all the time. Hi, Brylin Farm. <laughs> yes, I went shopping. I got 34 items. First of all, I went in there and I went to the cash register and I asked the girl, would you check my card? You know, your Goodwill card, because they can check how many points you have. Because I didn't have a 35% uh, coupon. So she checked, she checked my card. She says, you have 99 points she says go and get something for you know a dollar or so and come back and you'll get your coupon so I went over I'll show you what I got I went over and got a uh, I just grabbed a t-shirt because I thought it was cute if I don't sell it I can uh, just wear it it's a nice gardening t-shirt, except it's an extra large. It's a little big, but maybe I can tie it at the bottom or something. It's by Aldred State. And, yeah. It says, spread kindness around like wildflowers. So, yeah. So I picked that up, went back to the cash register, and got my 35% off coupon. So I shopped enough and spent enough that I got another coupon before I left. So I spent $105.96. That got me 34 items, and that comes to be $3.12 each. And that's how I figure my inventory cost. I uh, average it out. <clears throat> So that's good. That's fine. And uh, actually, that my T-shirt isn't on there. There was another five dollars for the T-shirt. Uh, yeah, but that didn't count toward my coupon. I mean, that did count for my coupon. So I'm all ready for the next visit. But, uh, yeah, I, instead of putting on, I don't have any good tennis shoes or sneakers, whatever you want to call them, that fit me real well. Um, I have been wearing Birkenstocks like garden clogs for years. I used to wear them only to garden. I'll show you the ones I have. I wear them all the time. Uh, these are the kind that I wear. Well, after you wear these constantly all the time, 
in the house, out of the house, every, I have two pair of them. Um, I blame them for my, for my feet increasing in size because I think your feet spread out. Your feet are very comfortable in these and they're the most comfortable things I have to wear. So I thought, why should I change into sneakers that I have that aren't good support? They don't feel good. And they're, they're really wearing out. So I thought if I wear these Birkenstocks, they're easy to slip on and off. And I can maybe find some new tennis shoes. But I didn't. I couldn't find any shoes at all today. So, uh, yeah. I went first to the racks that were, they were just bringing out. And then I went all through the men's section. And then I went to the women's section. So that's how I did it today. Um, yeah, I don't have anything in order here at all. And I have all the sh shorts. I didn't get any long pants. I got all shorts. I was hunting for, I was concentrating on getting summery things. Although I did get some sweaters. Uh, and I was also concentrating on getting shorts and either hiking pants. I was looking at hiking pants, which I didn't find any, or hiking shorts, something, you know, they have that, they have that ripstop fabric in there. They're usually cargo uh, shorts or pants. Didn't find any pants, but I did find a couple pair of shorts. And also polo shirts, men's golfing polo shirts. That's another thing I was looking for in the men's department. So let me show you what I got. Uh, this first thing was a surprise to me when I got home. I thought this was a women's. <laughs> when I got home, I noticed it's buttoned. It's a, this is a men's shirt. I just took for granted because of the color, I guess. But then I saw how long the arms are. It's definitely a, women, uh, definitely a man's. It's a large. It's American Eagle Super Soft. And this is a heavy one. This is lined, actually. So I think it's lined. Maybe it's just the way that fabric is. Wait a minute. Let's see if this is double. You can't tell. Maybe this is the way that fabric is. It's just a thicker fabric. But it's very soft. And, uh, yeah, buttons down the front. It's this gray inside. It looks like it's lined, but I don't think it is. I think that's how the fabric is. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's sort of a strange color, but for a men's shirt but not really then I found this altered state this is another altered state this is a nice vest this looks a little bit like a safari type hiking type uh, vest it's this olive green it has a cord that you can uh, you know make the waist tighter it's a full zip and then snaps snap pockets and epaulets at the neck, and I am not sure what size this is. You'll have to go on the measurements, because unless the size is someplace inside, the tag on the on the top here does not tell me the size. So, yeah, we'll see. But I like the look of that. I think I got the only pair of there were not there weren't any overalls and this was the only pair of short alls in the whole store and I got them. Uh, they're just Union Bay but I sold the other couple of short alls and overalls I've sold have just been either Target brands or very low end brands. This is a small Union Bay, and uh, it's cute little short shorts, little overalls. 
And I've sold a couple pair of overalls and a couple pair of the shortalls this season already. I got a lot of linen, which was good this time. Uh, you always look over your items thoroughly, and when I go to iron or photograph, I see flaws. I know. They always show up when you photograph under those lights. Or, yeah, when you iron. Me too. There's one I bought that does have a stain on the back. I'm not sure if it was that. It might have been that's this best. But I bought it anyway because how good that awesome cleaner works. And if it's a grease stain, uh, that does really well on grease stains. So... It looked like that might be what it is. I forget what piece it was. It might have been that best. This is J. Jill. It's a medium, but this is all linen, 100% linen. It's a button-up shirt, and it has pleating on the front here. Pretty color of pink, pale pink. And it has some detailing along the back there, too. So 100% linen. And this is by Talbot's. Now, I usually don't buy Talbot's unless it's a uh, bigger size. This is a medium. But this is a linen blend. That's where I got it. Plus, it's cute. I mean, it's a cute little, you know top with a little ruffle at the bottom and it's polka dot so it's uh linen and cotton so that's where i picked that up now this is i've never i think i found one other in this size this is a 4x and it's linen or linen blend. It might be linen blend. Uh, this reminds me of that men's shirt that I got, that uh, heavier weight men's shirt. It's, it's almost the same stripe. But it's a little tank, sort of tank top type thing. And it has, it buttons all the way down. And it's like, almost like a crop, well, it is a crop top. But, yeah. Nice linen top, cool for the summer. And uh, yeah, it's by Terra Sky. I would never pick that that uh, brand up, but this was, you know, because of the size, I picked it up. I'm trying to find a tag here. <clears throat> this is. Half linen, half rayon. So, yeah. Zach and Rachel. This is an extra large. I just got it because it's a pretty uh, pink and white. This is all cotton, I believe. Pink and white. It's an extra large pink and white uh, striped. Just a button up shirt. It has roll tab sleeves also. I was I was watching some resellers when I got home while I was resting from my trip. And I swear, they pass up. I was watching them in the store as they're thrifting. And they pass up everything that I get. So, probably not good. Now, this was a surprise that I found. This is a little wrap. This unties, and this is a wrap skirt. Uh, it's by Madewell. It's a size 12.
so I don't know. You could use this. It's a it's a true wrap. Little skirt. You could wear it for lots of things, I suppose. You could even wear it over a uh, bathing suit bottom, I suppose. But it's lined. This little uh, gingham black and white check. So that was a nice surprise. And this had a red tag on. Red tags were half price. So this has been there a while. And I don't see anything wrong with it. Of course, I haven't ironed it or photographed it yet. But looks pretty good. <clears throat> now this I've never heard of. This is a, it's called Grossy. It's a new with tag. I think this is a, from a uh, boutique store. It says one cloth, one rose, whatever that means. But it's heavily embroidered. It's just a pullover top with like three quarter sleeves that are embroidered. I don't know if this is a designer type of thing or if it's just a boutique, boutique store that carries odd things. But... I thought I'd try it. It's different. And it does have the embroidery on it. The back is plain. <clears throat> it's a large. This is J. Jill, and it's a, an extra large. It's very summery looking. It's a long sleeve, uh, really lightweight. Feels like a light rayon for sure. Uh, little button up blouse. Let's see, no, it's 100% cotton. Very um, lightweight. You can almost see through this. Very cool for the summer. Now here's a sweater. I just thought it was a cute style with this little. Uh, Whatever that is. It's leather with the brass uh, ring. Uh, it has little pockets on the sleeves. At least on one, just on one sleeve. But it's this pretty rust color. I just thought it was a nice looking sweater. And this is by Studio Works, which isn't a brand that I pick up. And it's a large. It has an insert that looks like you're wearing a t-shirt or wearing, wearing a shirt. But it's all connected. So you don't have to wear a shirt underneath it. And I have to pick up Ann Taylor just because <laughs> I can't believe it doesn't sell for anything retail or second hand. But this is a... Uh, I got this on so tight here. It's Ann Taylor, size 10. And it's black uh, with white polka dots. And it has this cute little ruffle hem, like a flutter hem. It's like knee length. It has a side zipper. And it is 100% silk. Now, I did look this up when I got home. There's one just like it that sold for $12. <laughs> so I don't understand that uh, Ann Taylor is such a well-made and beautiful, uh, makes beautiful clothes, that they just don't resell for anything. But I, st I still pick them up. Uh Oh, it won't fit me anymore. It used to be my size. Jane and Delancey. I just picked this up because I like black and white check. This is that uh, lightweight flannel fabric, if you know what I mean, real soft. Uh, it's a size medium. 
uh, you know, if it never sells, I'll have a shirt, another shirt. You're not supposed to think like that when you're a reseller. But, yeah, I'm just trying to put things in my basket. Uh, so I have some inventory. Now this next shirt, I did sort of buy for me because it won't sell now. This is a heavier weight flannel. It's by L.L. Bean. I hate to leave it, you know. L.L. Bean. It's a medium, which I wish it was a large, but I'll have to try it on. Uh, it's a pretty plaid. And, yeah, it's hard to find L.L. Bean, and I hate to leave it when I find it. Now, these two pieces, they were together. And when I was putting them up at the cash register, I realized it's two pieces. There's the under sweater. This is a real uh, pale slate blue. This is Ann Taylor also. These are large, and they're Italian, 100% Italian merino wool. So you have that. Now this does have a little spot, but it's something on there. And I can, I can probably almost pick it off, whatever it is. Somebody spilled some food on their sweater. But I'll get that off. So this is the under sweater, and then it has a cardigan. Uh, button cardigan yeah same size of course 100 percent merino wool made in hong kong i don't know does that mean it's vintage or not uh, so pretty pieces from ann taylor <clears throat> Then I was going after polo shirts. Nike Golf, standard fit. Your basic blue and white stripe. Dry fit, nice. Just a really nice uh, shirt. It is an extra large, I think. Yes, extra large. It's golf season. Masters just ended. I don't even know who won or how Tiger did. He entered it, but I don't, I have to talk to my son. Uh, when I saw this, I thought this is kind of strange looking for a polo shirt, but then it isn't a polo shirt. Well, it is, but it's not for golf. Uh, this is by Columbia and it's vented. And this is a PFG perform, uh, how does that stand? performance fishing gear is what that stands for. So this is a sort of a polo, a niche uh, fishing shirt. It's all vented. <clears throat> Short sleeve, it says Columbia. PFG on there too. I think it says it on what? Oh, it says Omni Shade. That's another thing that's good. It protects you from the sun. And it's this pretty uh, light green. Is that, I don't know if this is mint green. Sort of a muted mint green. So, yeah. Now, I got this because it's Rachel Zoe, Zoe, or however you pronounce that. It has a string hanging here. Uh, I'm not crazy about the colors, but it just has a notch V neck, and it's, uh, don't tell me you don't have a size either. There's no size at the neck, but it's big. I mean, this is a large or an extra large, for sure. This is a uh, 
stretchy slinky fabric. I have to look up what it's made of, but uh, yeah, I got it because Rachel Zoe or Zoe, however you pronounce that, uh, usually sells pretty good. You can see that right there. I guess it would look nice with a black pair of pants. <clears throat> This is rose and olive. This is cute. This is uh has those little Swiss dot things all over it. Can you see that? It doesn't show up very good. It's all over, little Swiss dots. It's a little bit like a baby doll. Flutter sleeves. Uh, buttons, half button. It's, this is an extra large. And it's the palest, palest, yellowish, like a cream yellow color. But summery, anyway. Uh, this is, a, no, this is Beach Lunch Lounge. X medium. Uh animal print. It's a half button. This is knit. This is like a sweater knit. It's very lightweight, a sweater knit. Okay. There's another Nike dry fit. This is, I know you can't see the cup. This is navy blue, if you can tell. Navy blue with the white swoosh. It's just plain. And it is size large. Oh, it's a large tall. So that's good. My husband wore tall. They're very hard to find. Uh, yeah, large tall. <clears throat> Another Nike Golf. Dry fit. This is the standard fit, and it's a large. Not a large tall. No, just standard fit. In green with the white swoosh. If I miss this tag, let me get this because I took all the rest of them off. <clears throat> Tomorrow Samantha comes, and the first thing I'm going to have her do. Oh, I took the wastebasket out there. Is uh, move the ironing board down here. Because a lot of these things, well, a lot of them need wa just washed. I think if I wash a lot of them, it'll get a lot of the wrinkles out. Because uh, I just took these out of the bag like about two hours ago. So that's half the problem. <clears throat> But I want to get the rug, the carpet laid down in this room also. And that's not anything that I told her we were going to do this week. <laughs> okay, I saw this little skirt. And I wondered what these little things were. So I took a closer look. And they're golf carts. You see? Well, here, you can see on this one. They're little golf carts. So I thought, ah, this has to be a sport. And it is. It has shorts underneath. And it's just a little squirt for golfing. So, yeah, it's Talbot's. However, <clears throat> it's only a size four. 
Now it doesn't look that small, but that's what it says. I mean, that's four is a small size. This doesn't look that small. If I'd guess, I'd guess that was like a 10. But I guess not. All right, this is getting further away and further away. Uh, this is Adriana Papel, or Papel, I guess. This is a large. I just, I like black and white. This has balloon sleeves. It's just sort of slinky, stretchy. And the neck is, is stretchy. It's a quarter button. Uh, has a rough, ruffle neck to it. Just trying to find stuff to list. Uh, another sweater. This is Philosophy in a large. And this is one of those big dol dolman sleeves which I don't quite understand. Now, people without shoulders like me, these aren't good. Now, the sleeves have zippers up the, you know, they these sleeves get real tight, and then they have the zipper on the sleeves. So, I don't know, it's different. <clears throat> Somebody tried this on, couldn't get their hand out of the sleeve. So another rust color. Uh, another, I'll show you the sweater. Now this is, I just like, uh, it's an, this is navy blue and white stripe, like a nautical stripe it's shorter it's not uh real long and it has uh it'll be they're turned up i don't think they have to be turned up sleeves it's not summery this is a large and then my Knox Rose of the day is this one. Uh, this is black with the embroidered shoulders. And it's a large, plain in the back. But it has the embroidery here. Always have to get one Knox Rose. There's a lot of Knox Rose at uh, my Goodwills. And then we have another linen, 100% linen, extra large. This is St. Tropez West. It's just a really cute little sleeveless blouse with pleating on the front and embroidery. It's, uh, if you can see it, it's, it's color on color. You can't see it very good, but they're bouquets of flowers. Boy, you can't see it at all there. I sort of see it there. It's embroidered all over. But real cool ice blue. Uh, extra large linen. 100% linen, that is. Okay, let me show you the shorts I got. These look brand new. These are uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. This button here. And they are size eight. They are like a light blue and white uh, stripe. And these are true Bermudas. These are long Bermudas. Pockets in the back. So yeah, these size 
a cotton, are they all cotton? 98% cotton and a little bit of elastane. So they have a little bit of stretch in them. Okay, this is one of the uh, cargo sort of like hiking shorts I got. And this is a brand I've never picked up before. Dahlia. <laughs> this is Dahlia Collection. 100% cotton. But it has that feel. I don't know how you describe it. It's it's not rip. This is not ripstop fabric. But I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's 100% cotton. It feels like it has nylon or something in it with it. But these are the cargo pants, and then they have the ties around the legs here. I don't know exactly why they do that. Uh, corded waist and lots of snaps and zippers and pockets. <laughs> Uh, in this beige color. And those are, what size are these? These are a size six. Boy, they look bigger than a six too. These are big. You know, I think I could get in these and I'm sure not a six. <laughs> I mean, if you untied this tie here, this looks more like everything's looking like a size 10 to me. Okay. This is new with tags. Now, somebody talked about this brand online when I was listening to a uh, another reseller. And um, so that's why, oh no, not this one. I'm sorry, scratch that. This is Horny Toad. Now, I know about that brand. Okay, this is a size 36. These are men's. And they have a tag of $72 on these. They do have a 50% off little mark there, which I'll try to peel that off. But uh, originally $72. All about horny toad. Oh, it's made in Telluride, Colorado. I've been there. It's a skiing place. Obviously, also a hiking place. It's in the mountains. So these are men's 38s. Horny toad. It's a good brand. Cargo uh, shorts. Another pair of, now this is the ripstop fabric. This is the brand that I heard somebody talking about. Uh, and when I got home, I looked it up in the store and it was, it, it goes for a decent amount of money, 30 or $40, uh, you know, resale. So this is called Wear It First or Wear First. It says, wear first, then tell the difference, is what the tag says. It's a size, well, I can't see anymore, 36, it says, cotton spandex. And it says, wear first, free band, whatever that means. Maybe it has a little bit of give to it. But the only problem with this is, on this back pocket, it's missing a button. So there's no, at least I haven't found any free buttons. You know, a lot of times they'll have, oh dear, it has another button missing here too. You know, these buttons are just plain. They don't have writing on them. They're just plain beige buttons. It has two buttons missing. Well, shoot. I'm pretty sure they didn't supply me with two buttons in there. 
But I'll just have to uh, show that it shouldn't be. I mean, it's easy to sew a button on, right? But these are men's. <laughs> uh, other than that, it's perfect. Hiking shorts, a rip, rip stop fabric, and a great brand. So we'll see what I do about that. Okay, another pair. These are Talbot size 6 Girlfriend Chino Short. Just a little pair of chinos. I had found a lot of these last year at the Brunswick Goodwill. A bunch of shorts, remember? And I sold almost all of them. There was a, like about five or six of them. <clears throat> and the last thing is cut from the cloth 16W for women or 16 woman. Uh, it's just a nice pair of green shorts with flat pockets front and back. But a good size. I got these because of the size. They're heavyweight uh, cotton. They're 16W. <clears throat> cut from the cloth. It says, change your cut, change your world. <laughs> I think they all say that on all their jeans and everything. <clears throat> so that's my haul from today. And I had to work hard for that. <laughs> yeah, I got, I think, one, two, three. Three of the items were half price, and the rest were 35% off. But I had to pay full price for that. The first t-shirt here. <laughs> so, that is what I got. Uh, I did only 15 minutes of earthing today. I did a half hour yesterday, but today I had too much I had to do, so I only got out there for 15 minutes. Love the Knox Rose. Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> oh, the those, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what they were at first till I looked at it, till I looked at it close, and then I thought, ah, oh, that's a golf cart. Dharma Jeans here. Hi. Hi, hi. Black and white items always look nice. Yeah, I think so, too. You never know. You have to hit the right person at the right time. That's true. Just ignore the comps. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that all goes on brand. It doesn't go on style. If you buy your things for style, it has nothing to do with the comps, really. Uh, yeah. Oh, the peplum and ruffles are in the drop-down posh menu of current keywords now. Okay. Oh, Scott Schiffler. Won the Masters. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> uh, how long did, t do you know how long Tiger lasted? Uh, did he last past the first day or the second day? This, he said this was his last try. Uh, 24 in the chat. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> Norma Jean's here with her plus one. I think I saw everything now. I 
I found that some of the things when I'm photographing, some of the things are easy to bring over, just take two steps over to a table I have and, and show the measurements with the tape there. But some things aren't. Some things, when things have long sleeves, that in, then you have to include another, a third measurement. And then that's taking longer than, I have to time myself, but I don't know. I think if I measure while it's hanging, where I take the pictures, quick doing measurement and write it down, I don't know if that'll be quicker or not. I'm just trying to cut some time off. I don't know why. I don't have hundreds of things to list. Twenty-five now in the chat. I like your flowers there, Tomoki. You got a ruler coming my way? Ryland Farm, thank you. <laughs> Time is money, yes. If I was going to do my photo, I could still do it. But I can see where the slant board and the sticky fabric, this would work, what I'm using. Could things stick to it? All I'd have to do is get a board Put it on, put it onto a board, and uh, put hinges. <laughs> Not me, somebody. Put hinges so that you could pull the board out from the wall, and then it would go flat against the wall when you're not using it. And you, it could, uh, you could have a slant board then. Then you don't have to use a, use a hanger or anything, and it's much easier to spread things out and take photos of things that way, and take measurements. Everybody that takes those flat measurements do does it with those slant boards. Oh, I'm losing people here. Norma Jean, I just listed a few men's shirt today. First clothing to try. I usually have lots of hard goods. Hard goods are hard to list, I think. Don't you think men's, uh, don't you think the clothes were easier? Close. Oh, you're in text group and sent a message. His website is under renovation. Uh, he's out thrifting and making YouTube videos. He's making tons of YouTube videos. Uh -oh. That's what I want to make for my shed. Yes. Yeah. I, if I was doing it from this, from scratch, I would make the slant board. Uh, I can see now where it would really, really come in uh, handy. Most of all the big time sellers have it, and that's why because it makes it fast, everything faster. But it has to be, I don't like the, I don't have a room for it to stay out like that. It would have to be on hinges so that you can just drop it back against the wall. <clears throat> well, when my son comes over, I'll have to ask him about, about it. Oh, they have to come over. Well, first of all, it's time to do the spring clean out of the chicken coop, which he, him and uh, my grandson helped me last year. Hopefully they'll help me again this year. Uh, I don't like to photograph clothes because your setup is in another room. Well, that was the problem I had. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to get everything here close. Once my ironing board gets down here, everything will be all together. Yeah. 
So I think I'm going to throw some of this stuff in the washing machine. I have time to wash and dry at least a load and put the timer on so I'm right down there to get it out of the dryer or <laughs> it'll end up just as wrinkled. What should I do about those missing buttons? That's probably why that was still there. You know, that better brand, where, where first. <laughs> Sell as is. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. The whole effort of getting two buttons would take it would take me one full day to get myself out of here <laughs> and uh, go to a store I haven't been in in a while. That would be sort of fun. Joanne Fabrics. Mm. Yeah, there's always a reason why the better things are still there for you. My scalp is okay if I don't hit my, uh, sometimes I forget because it's itchy now. You know, it's healing. And if I don't think about it and I scratch or I itch there and hit that, it's very tender. I can't wait to get them out. It'll have to be Saturday or over the weekend because I had them in, put in Friday night late. Yeah, men don't care. Yeah, it's lucky it's a pair of men's. They probably wouldn't even replace the buttons. You have to open the buttons to put something in the pockets anyway, right? Uh, all right, gang. I'm going to close. Uh, sort this out. Put a load of wash in. And uh, hopefully some of this, uh, some of the other things that little wrinkles will hang out. I have to uh, photograph about six things. Not tonight, though. I need some light coming into the front window with, along with my studio light there. So it'll have to be tomorrow morning. So I have to go put the chickens away, but there's no wind. <laughs> uh, yes. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs> you don't know my husband. Oh. Well, thank you. I will see you, not tomorrow, but Thursday. Thursday night. We'll get together again, see what's going on. So I will see you then. Thanks for joining. Bye.